Channel 3 is your back to school authority. And today, students in East Hartford will be heading back to the classrooms. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Aya Galil is live at East Hartford High School with what families and students can expect as the new school year begins today. Good morning, Wendell and Nicole. Yeah, definitely an exciting day here and all students will be back for in person instruction. Last year, around 30 to 40% of students within the East Hartford School District were learning remote. So this is definitely the first time in a long time all students will be back to the classroom. So there are a few changes students and families should be aware about. For East Hartford students, summer has come to an end and the new school year officially begins today. Students and teachers all over the state will need to wear masks for at least the first month of school. East Hartford Public Schools are back to full in-person instruction, but accommodations can be made for students with documented medical needs. Superintendent Nathan Quaynell says the return to in-person learning is something the district feels strongly about. We can't wait to see those kids. And, uh, you know, it's been a summer of planning. It's been a summer of really thinking through where we are. And, you know, of course, with the Delta variant and the, and the trends that we're seeing right now, we're, we're continuing to adjust to the guidance we've received both from, this, uh, from the CDC, the Office of the Governor, and, and, of course, the State Department of Education, as well as our own local East Hartford Department of Public Health. So faculty and staff have already started arriving here at the high school for the first day of classes. And a reminder today through the rest of the week, there will be half days because of the heat. Live in East Hartford this morning, Aya Galel, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, thanks, Aya.